Last year, Ohio and Tennessee used VolleyRite volleyball scoring software at their state finals, and both states will be using it again this year. We're now working so that volleyball programs can benefit from VolleyRite throughout the entire season. VolleyRite volleyball scoring software combines the scorekeeping, libro tracking, and timing functions of the scoring table and incorporates the rules of the game and scoring notation. Its user-friendly interface simplifies the entry of scoring information. VolleyRite enables scorekeepers of all levels of experience to keep score effectively at any level of play. High school volleyball programs are driven by lots of volunteers who are capable, but they don't always have the necessary training. VolleyRite can help them out. VolleyRite simplifies scoring input so scorers can keep up. Most actions require a single click, a double click, or a drag and drop action. Common mistakes and their associated delays are minimized because the rules are built in. Your volunteer scorer doesn't need in-depth knowledge of the rules. The score sheets and Libro tracking sheets are easy to read and in proper notation, again taking some of the pressure off of the scorer. Timing is built in for team timeouts, the between set intervals, and the special injury timeout. VolleyRite engages scorers with prompts to ensure that they're checking that the correct player is serving or entering the court, and indicates messages to be communicated to the officials, such as set point and the last four substitutions. And how will VolleyRite affect your matches? Our goal is a smoother match. Substitution should go a lot faster, and your score should be able to keep up better in general. You may notice that more illegal substitutions, wrong servers, and illegal Libra replacements are caught now. And you will always be able to read the score sheet and Libra tracking sheet. Nothing will be missing, and you'll be able to decipher the notation. There are a couple new pre-match checks with the use of technology. Make sure the PC is plugged in to a live socket, or the iPad is fully charged if not plugged in. If using the Windows version, make sure a memory stick is inserted into a USB port and defined on the Welcome tab. To reduce distractions, we recommend PC users turn off their screensaver and auto-updates, and we tell iPad users to lengthen or turn off their auto-lock feature. You can select which rules are in force for your match on the Rules tab. VolleyRite comes with standard rule sets. You can edit one of the rule sets provided and save it as a custom rule set for tournaments, quads, and tri matches, and junior high matches. The NFHS rule set follows the rule book, which outlines varsity matches. On the set play page, the NFHS rules indicate that the teams will play the best of five sets, all non deciding sets to 25 points, and deciding sets to 15 points. In high school rules, the teams don't switch sides during the deciding sets, nor are the sets capped for normal league play. The non-varsity rules indicate that the teams will play the best of three sets, all sets to 25 points, and no capping. The personnel page for both rule sets indicates a substitution limit of 18 and one libro who may be the floor captain and who may serve in one position. Do not panic if the match begins with the wrong rule set. Although you may not open an entire new rule set during the match, you can change most of the parameters on the different pages. VolleyRite does have some internal checking that would not allow you to change a setting, such as, you may not indicate that the Libro may not serve if the Libra has already served in the set. As you would normally do, when you check the rosters, be sure to communicate any changes to the scorer. Players listed on a roster can be marked absent, so VolleyRite knows when an injury will result in a team playing short, or if an exceptional substitution is necessary, or if the special three-minute injury timeout is appropriate. After the first home match of the season, the scorer should have the home team's roster already entered and saved. All they should have to do is use the Open Roster button and select their team.
For the visiting team, if the roster has not been downloaded or previously entered and saved, scorers will have to enter the roster, but only a team name and the player numbers are required. It only takes a minute or two. If there's a printer available, a roster PDF file can be printed containing a team's roster and lineup diagrams in service order for NFHS matches. Also, when a roster is opened or saved, VolleyWrite automatically sorts it. If the scorer makes a typo or misses adding a player on a roster, it's not a problem. There are Add Player and Change Jersey buttons on the Set tab, which allow you to add a number to the roster at any point. You, as an official, just need to let the scorer know whether to apply a penalty for an illegal roster. As with paper scoring, ensuring that the lineups are entered correctly is extremely important. Always check, either visually or verbally, that the lineups entered into the computer match the lineup diagram submitted by the coaches. Because only one person should be entering information on the computer, Volley Wright changes the Libro Tracker's role from recording Libro activity to pointing out the Libro activity to the scorer. So with VolleyWrite, the Libro Tracker is more of a spotter. To make this easy to see, a Libro is indicated as a blue number on the display. And if a Libro has served, you'll see a small blue triangle following that position around the court. Libro tracking rules are built in. So for example, VolleyWrite requires that a Libro sits out a completed rally when moving to a different position when the Libro does not serve in the new position, and VolleyWrite does not allow a Libro to serve in more than one position. And it also knows the penalty if that's attempted. Scorers spend most of their time entering information on the Set tab. The display is as if you were hanging from the rafters above the court. The net runs down the middle and team benches are on the bottom. On the left side of the screen, there's a stack of buttons, including the undo and penalty buttons. The timeout buttons and counts are at the bottom of the page, along with the sub counts. Players, including Libros, are moved onto the court by clicking or dragging and dropping. VolleyWrite is designed to help users enter information quickly and accurately, but you still need to ensure that your score is in sync with the flow of the match. As with paper scoring, if the match needs to be interrupted to be sure the scorer is keeping up, so be it. Better now than later when things are even more confusing. Referees and scorers are all responsible for the integrity of the score sheet, which is a high priority at volleyball matches to ensure that many of the rules are applied. Communication is a good thing. Inside VolleyWrite, if the scorer makes a mistake and catches it right away, the undo button can be used to erase an action. If the error was more than an action or two previous, they can use the manual fix button. There are additional videos regarding manual fixes on YouTube. At any point during the match, you can open the score sheet tab or the Libero tab. Obviously, it is best to do this during a dead ball preferably during a timeout. VolleyWrite puts up a window with the referee in the corner to alert the scorer to communicate to the R2 things like the last four substitutions, set point, and the new message when the Libro tracker informs the R2 of each team's Libro status at the beginning of each timeout. VolleyWrite does have an external display feature, which acts as a scoreboard or displays the score sheet. Not everyone will use this, but it is helpful. According to NFHS rules, the R2 verifies the score sheet at the end of each set. Just have the score type in your initials in the box provided when you give them permission to do so. We offer many different resources to make sure you're comfortable and confident at your matches that include VolleyWrite. 
Downloading a free trial of the Windows version is the best way to become familiar with VolleyWrite. You can use the scoring example in the back of the NFHS rules book if a scrimmage or live match is not available. All of the training videos on YouTube have VolleyWrite in the name, so you can use VolleyWrite as your search term. And coming soon, we'll have videos that address correcting your starting lineup, VolleyWrite says the Libro served when she didn't, and the match didn't end at the right time. Every Windows installation places a shortcut to the complete user manual on your computer desktop. Also, there are help buttons inside the program in the top right corner of each tab, which open the appropriate sections of the user manual. The About tab includes contact information such as our web address, email address, and phone number. When you enter a facility using VolleyWrite, what should you do? Because this is technology, ensure that the power issue has been addressed, either in battery life or plugging into a live socket. You want to ensure that the correct rules are selected. Emphasize to your scorer to let you know if there's a problem of any kind. When you're checking the rosters, communicate any changes to your scorer. As with paper scoring, ensure that the lineups have been entered correctly before giving the court to the R1 at the start of each set. As with paper scoring, make sure your scorer is keeping up. Your verification of each set is actually entered by the scorer, but you can look at the score sheet at the end of each set if you want to, before giving the scorer permission to enter your initials. It is our experience that if your score can get the lineups entered correctly and enter the actions in the order in which they actually occur, you'll have no problems. You can visit our website at volleywrite.com. Please contact us with any questions at info at Thanks for watching.